At WWDC this year, Apple announced that Siri is going to be available on third-party devices. Why is that a big deal? Why is that exciting? Well, the Google Assistant's been on third-party devices, Alexa's been on third-party devices, but many of you will say Apple's been snobbish and hasn't allowed third-party devices to have Siri on board. Well, that's changed. And now we have finally got the first device to have it on board. That's the FB thermostat, and we're going to talk about it. Let's get started. What up, everybody? It's George Langenbeer with Silver Hammer Surveillance. Here on the channel, we talk tech and we talk security. Today, we're talking tech. And we're here in the Silver Hammer Smart Home. Take a look at the link in the description below, and you can go on a tour of what we got going on here. It's a couple months ago. We're going to freshen that video up here soon. So there might be some things different, but go ahead and check out the tour anyway. We got some cool gadgets in here. So again, today we're talking about Ecobee thermostat, smart thermostat with voice control, specifically the exciting addition of having Siri on board. What is this bad boy? What is a smart thermostat? Well, a smart thermostat is cool for several different reasons. You got a thermostat, obviously, in general, that you can control here in your home, just like normal. But also you can control it from your phone. So if you're on vacation or if you're at work, you can control your thermostat, you can set different automations, you can have it one temperature when you're sleeping, one temperature when you're gone, one temperature when you're home. And eventually, because of these settings, it'll actually pay for itself. So that's the advantage of a smart thermostat. I like the Ecobee because it's the most universal. It works very well. It always worked with Apple HomeKit, works with Google Home, it works with Amazon Alexa. So it's very universal, like there's the Nest thermostat, which is another very popular smart thermostat, but it must use a special device. It really only works with Google Home. This one I like because it's universal. So like I said, uh, this is a primarily a, a HomeKit smart home, HomeKit being Apple's smart home platform. And I like this because it's always worked with HomeKit, but now because of that third party opening up after the WWDC announcement, We've actually got Siri on board in addition to it just working with HomeKit, which is what we're talking about today. So, got a th smart thermostat with a, basically a Siri speaker built in. So, just to keep in mind, you do have to have iOS 15 running on your, your iOS device to make this work. And then, it could be basically is doing a software update um, to people that own this. So, let's say you just bought it. You've got to wait a couple days for them to update it for you. Unfortunately, there's no way to go in and manually update your software. Um, we're going to kind of show you here. Basically, if you go to the settings and you go to about for your thermostat, your version is right here. I believe the version before this was 350 at the end, and now it's 352. But you got to have that version to make Siri uh, work with this on board. So first thing to do is go ahead and check out that uh, setting and make sure you got iOS 15 on your phone. If you do, then it basically it'll just appear. So with that being said, how do you get Siri on this? Basically, you set it up through the Home app on your phone. So let's take a look at that real quick. Okay, so I'm going to the Home app on my iOS device uh, or laptop or Apple device, but usually easiest on your iPad or your phone. I'm going to find my thermostat in the list of devices here. I'm going to long press on it to get to the settings. And when you do have that software update on there and you do have iOS 15, um, when you go to the settings of the thermostat, you're now gonna have a Siri section in the settings. And um, so as you can kind of see it's down here in the middle. If you go to Siri, you could basically enable listen for Hey Siri. And that just means that this will be listening um, just like your HomePod mini or anything else. And then once you enable that, you've got other settings, just kind of like a HomePod mini that you can enable. You can pick which Siri voice you want um, you can d delete your Siri history, turn on your personal request, and what does that mean? Just like a HomePod Mini, that kind of means that you can make phone calls and all the other things that are benefits of HomePod Minis in addition to just being an information device or a speaker. You can also do the intercom, just like a HomePod Mini, so where you can speak through your whole home, which is cool. So once that software update's on there, you're going to uh, get that option on your device on HomeKit, and you just turn it on. And it's that simple. And then once you do that, um, when you go to your thermostat and you go to your microphone, whereas before you only had the good old Amazon Assistant, um, now you'll have Siri, and we'll show you here, but you can turn it on and off right here from the thermostat, you can control your volume, and you can also press, um, instead of just saying, 
the command. Um, so just like your phone where you can compress it and kind of manually do it, you got the same option here. So now that, therm that um, microphone button is Siri. So that's that. And then in addition, if you go into the settings of the app, you'll also see where there's an AirPlay speaker option. Right now it says it's on beta. I'm assuming that will go away. I find that it's not really the beta version. It seems like the full-blown version. So eventually that word will go away, I'm sure. But basically you can use this for a speaker itself. Uh, so just like your HomePod Mini, if you just want to play music right here. Um, that's one of my only complaints about this um, is in when Alexa was on here, it was the same thing. It's not the greatest speaker in the world. I mean, look at it. It's not like made to play music. But if it's in a spot in your hallway or somewhere where you don't normally have speakers, it's a cool way to add it to the list of AirPlay speakers. So you can turn that on and off. So if you don't care about it being a speaker, you can just turn it off. But if you want it um, on, then you can put this in the list with all your HomePod minis and Sonos or whatever else you have as AirPlay speakers. So we'll show you here in a second how that works and how, you know, I know the audio quality of these things don't always translate on a phone, but we'll play this in a second. And then we'll also show you how we can command it to play our other HomePod minis in here also in a second. Okay, so let's just demonstrate this as a speaker. Shuffle my epidemic sound playlist. And then you get the display up here. When it was Alexa, it was blue. Now it's kind of mimicking the um, colors of when you press Siri on your phone. So this seems to take a little longer to respond than a normal HomePod, right? Yes, yeah, so that's one of my other complaints. Good point, Teresa. As you can see, it took a couple seconds for this to come on. And why that is, is because it actually, and, and I didn't say this before, but you do need a HomePod Mini for this to work. And basically what it does is it relays its commands to HomePod Mini. And so because of that, it's going to be delayed because it's communicating with your HomePod Mini. Now, it wasn't horrible, but it was a couple seconds. So, yes, Teresa, I'm glad you said that. But yeah, so you playing music here. You can control your volume. I mean, you're not hearing a lot of low end. But um, it's a speaker. And again, I, I just pressed that manually, but I could just walk up to this thing and say the command. All right, so now we're going to show you how you do it with the rest of your devices. Stop. Hey, Siri. Shuffle my epidemic sound playlist everywhere. Okay, so my one complaint about this, other than the sound of the actual speaker itself, is the delay. And it's doing that because it's it's relaying it to a HomePod Mini, which again is required. So it took about a second. Now it's playing it on my Sonos and on my HomePod Minis, and obviously that's going to sound better than this little speaker. But it is included in there, and you can definitely tell the difference. But still cool that you can start everything. So if you're in the hallway and you don't have a HomePod Mini there, or you don't have your phone with you, you can just go to this and say, play some music. Hey, Siri. Stop. So, you know, to stop it, it seems more responsive than to start it. So, again, my only complaint is not the greatest speaker in the world and sort of a delay when you're trying to get it to play music or something like that. Every other command is fine. So if you're asking it for the weather, what's the forecast for today? It's currently partly cloudy. So that's pretty immediate. Expect cloudy skies starting it's just when you're playing music or something like that that there's a delay, but otherwise everything else is very responsive. So overall, very cool. And again, I think they'll fix it with software updates. Um, again, this is the first run. This came out in about um, October 15th, 15th, something like that. Again, I have the, uh, it could be light in here because I didn't care about the Amazon Assistant, so I didn't need the voice control. I just got this, and I bought it um, about four days ago, and that's about how long it took me to get the software update. So I wanted to get this video out as soon as I got it, and uh, I did. So I've also upgraded at my shop. Um, but anyway, pretty cool. But the most exciting thing about it is just the series going on board with these third-party devices. So we got this brilliant light switch. That had Amazon's assistant. That's what keeps chiming in here. Go back, uh, go in the uh, description below, and you'll see my video on, on Brilliant. These are amazing. 
I'm hoping that Siri gets on board here because that would be another incredible thing. I've got these all over the place. It'd be awesome to have her on there or him, depending on which voice you use. Um, Sonos, huge Sonos lover, always very universal. They've got the Google Assistant built in, Amazon Assistant built in, never had Siri before. That would be fantastic if Sonos gets it as well. But this is Hope. This is just the first one. Um, you know, again, we've had Siri shortcuts for a while. But now we've got this, and it's pretty cool. It's just fact, great that Apple is opening their minds to sharing, and that's that's a huge step forward. And Matter, you know, they, they've announced that they're going to be part of Matter. It's been a little bit delayed, which you can go back and check our videos on Matter. Um, but the fact that they're part of Matter, and the, you know, it, it just opens up the world of smart home automation, just wide open, and we can have Siri on all these things. So, George, did I catch three things that you need to have to make this work with Siri? Can you recap those again? Yes, you got to have the software update. Um, so you just go into your settings again and go to About and check that software update. And it ends in 3.5.2, then you know you've got it. And then again, if you go to the Home app, you'll see that that Siri option is available in the settings of the thermostat. So that's number one. Whatever iOS device you have your Home app on, you do have to be on iOS 15 or above. And then um, you just have to have a HomePod Mini because that's how it's relaying this information. So it's basically like a, you know, HomePod Mini is already a HomeKit hub. You know, you can do that with an iPad, you can do it with an Apple TV, but a HomePod Mini in this case is how it's relaying information. And that's why there's that little bit of delay. But those three things. Okay, that's it. If you're interested in the Ecobee thermostat with voice control, look in the description below. I've got a link for more information if you're interested in purchasing one. And uh, hopefully you're as excited about Apple's own mindedness as I am. Uh, tell me in the comments what uh, devices you're excited to see Siri on. For me, it's brilliant. And Sonos, can't wait for that to happen. I think it'll happen. But who knows, with Matter, the possibilities are endless. So hopefully you liked our demonstration. Hopefully you liked this video. Smash the like button if you did. Please subscribe to the channel. We enjoy having you here. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your support. We'll be talking about more tech and more security. And until the next video, peace and love.